Hi, we're in the Lego shipyard here at the USS Constitution Museum, and I'm with Ben Christensen and his daughter Finley. Ben is the designer and constructor of the massive Lego model of Constitution that's sitting behind us and will be on display for a while here at the USS Constitution Museum. Ben, this is an amazing piece of work, and it wasn't built from a kit. You designed this? I did, yep. How many pieces were going into it, and what was the? How did you come up with the design? Well, I wish I knew how many pieces exactly I used. <laughs> um, I, I estimate it's about seven thousand pieces, but I could be off by quite a bit. Um, I, uh, I I grew up um, loving Lego pirates or Lego pirate ships, um, and pirates and sailors and anything was it really drew my interest. Um, and being able to build a ship and play with it as a kid was was a lot of fun. So. Um, that's kind of where it started. Um, I uh, went off to college, did other things, and then uh, and got married. Uh, my wife um, knew I had an interest in Legos and pirates, and so she bought me a pirate ship one year for my birthday, and she had no idea what she uh, had just ignited oh, in no. me. So Reopened it, huh? <laughs> yep. So uh, as an adult, I got all my Legos back from my parents' basement and, and started building again. Oh, wow. How yeah. long ago was that? Oh, probably about 10 years ago. Oh, my God. Yeah. I wasn't even born. That's, I'm only seven. That's You're right. Only seven. <laughs> yep. So now, starting a project like this, especially designing it from scratch, what was your process for, for doing this? And how did you yeah. decide to choose Constitution over, over all of your favorite pirate ships? Yeah, well, um, one of the books that my uh, parents read me when I was a kid was the USS Constitution, uh, Old Ironsides, uh, an old landmark book from the 1950s. Um, and so it, I always, it was always an awesome thing to hear about an American tall ship um, that uh, was one of the historical first um, military things that, the, that we made as Americans. So that, that's kind of what spurred the interest. And, um, so I just uh, wanted to build something that was historical and a part of my childhood. Um, so I built a smaller model uh, a while uh, back and it was great, I liked it, but then I thought, you know what, um, this small ship and all the other um, pirate sets that LEGO had uh, produced were not to scale and I thought I need to do something that's to scale and what better than doing the Constitution and so that's what started this. Wow. Now, how much time do you think you put into this then? Um, well, start to finish, it took five years. Um, I started before uh, Finley here was born, and I finished um, after her younger brother was born, so I did have to take a lot of breaks in there. Um, I, I, it's hard to estimate how many hours went into it, but um, I would say hundreds of hours yeah, I can uh, went into it. Yep. Wow, sure. that's really incredible. Some of the details on it are really amazing. What was your sort of points of reference for, for coming up with it? Well, uh, fortunately, uh, with the Constitution still being around, um, there's lots of pictures on, on Google search. Um, so I use that all the time um, to see different angles, just look at different pictures. Um, I used Wikipedia to, um, and then other sites to see the length and width and height, and that's how I was able to get my scale. Um, and then, yeah, just um, kept trying different things to try to get it to match um, the pictures uh, with Lego. It's, it's kind of an art form, you know, you, you try something, it doesn't work, you take it all apart and try again. And so there are several iterations to begin with. I was going to say, because there's a lot of parts, pieces and parts that aren't designed by Lego for the application you put them to, yards, masks, and stuff. Right. Like, how many different sets do you think are incorporated into this? Well. Um, many. <laughs> um, I, I did have several pirate ships that I could pull um, pieces from, from my uh, personal collection, um, but I definitely did not have enough pieces of my own. Um, I had to use a website called bricklink.com to buy individual pieces, and I would buy hundreds and hundreds of um, specific pieces that I needed. Um, so I have no idea what the original set those pieces uh -huh. came from. Um, but yeah, probably a third of this um, is stuff that I bought specifically for building this ship. Fantastic. 
Uh, and the ship just came back to, or is coming to USS Constitution Museum from a Lego convention that you That's were right. at where it was displayed. Yeah. Uh, how did that go? Oh, we had a great time. So we went to uh, Brick Fair um, Chantilly in uh, Chantilly, Virginia. Um, it was the first time that Finley and I were exhibitors there. Um, so I, I had to bring the Constitution to that convention. Uh, we, we had a great time. Uh, Finley had a couple models and I had the Constitution plus a couple other models and uh, we, were, we were blessed that the Constitution was voted the best watercraft of the whole show. So, wow, that's really yep. incredible. We were, wow. we were real excited. <laughs> and so Finley, you've got some of your own ones going next. What, what do you want to build next out of Legos? Another house. Another house? Or maybe a swimming pool. With a swimming pool, huh? Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh. With dolphins in it, even better. Maybe I can make a ship and you can make the dolphins in the sea. How does that sound? <laughs> well, bring them back when you're done and we'll have those yeah. on exhibit here too. Will uh, do. The uh, Ben's model of the USS Constitution will be on exhibit for a while here in the Lego shipyard where you can come down and build your own Lego ships uh, right here at the USS Constitution Museum. Ben Finley, thanks for coming out today, and thank you so much for sharing this amazing model with all of us here at the museum. Thank you very much. I'm I'm such a I'm so honored to be a part of this. Thanks. Thanks.